Okay, this is Ringwalk Media in association with Bartley Kart Racing and Redline Specialist Cars. Somebody that Ishmael Davis knows all about, mate. Yeah, man. One of my big sponsors. Um, shout out to Rob at Redline. Shout out to Sim as well. Took me out in the Lambo over there. I I've heard about your driving, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, mate, in Corsa mode in that Lambo, it's crazy, man. But yeah, man, shout out to Redline. Listen, here we are in uh, Saudi Arabia. Big, massive card this week. And uh, nice to see you out here, lad. Yeah, I just come strolling through, did I? But yeah, man, it's good. It's nice. Big event again. Smashed out the park. Shouts out to Turkey Ala Sheikh. Always does what he needs to do. And puts on the greatest boxing events. Well, listen, let's just take the clock back briefly. Uh, Wembley Stadium. A brilliant fight. Last minute jump in. I mean, uh, it was a debatable result. It could have gone either way, but you accounted yourself very, very well. An amazing occasion, mate. Listen, I didn't come into this boxing game thinking, oh, yeah, I'm scared to lose my arm, do this and do that. Listen, I'm here to fight everyone. And I stay in the gym. But one thing I do, I did find out is um, you can't buy experience and you need to be fighting fit to fight someone like Josh Kelly. But I'm going to be definitely chasing that fight again. And everyone knows, everyone's seen what happened. And uh, if it was a 13th round, I don't think he would have been getting out of there. But by the time I downloaded the data and uh, knew what I needed to do, it was a bit too late. But it is what it is. We'll come again and we keep going. What was it like walking out that ring walk at Wembley Stadium? Because not many people get to actually do that. That was amazing. It was amazing. And um, obviously, no amateurs. And then I've only had two TV fights for Ewan McKenzie and I fought Troy and then straight to Josh Kelly. Man, it's moving like fast forward, <laughs> you know what I mean? But listen, I'm loving the journey and um, I'm just happy, man. I'm, 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 I have gratitude for what's happening in my life and i am just got to keep pushing. Well, listen, it was a good performance and uh, after that performance, surely you're going to jump on another Saudi card at some point, surely. And you are in Saudi. Yeah, well, we've got some big news coming soon, man, so... Strap your seatbelt in and stay, stay um, safe for the ride. <laughs> I'm sure you can't tell us yet, but uh, that would be great if you were out on another another card. Obviously, big cards already announced. Tyson Fury um, against Usyk at the end of this year. And I think there's uh, a 5 5 plan for early next year. So hopefully you get on one of them, mate. Yeah, definitely, man. I listen, I'll, I'll be ready anyway. And um, with some notice, I don't think anyone's getting out of that ring with me. Who would you like next? Who would I like next? I want the British title, I'll be honest with you, because that was the route I was taking before I've jumped it and gone to Josh Kelly. And obviously, I've still got to gain experience and um, I know what I'm capable of and I know how good I am. But um, listen, I'll fight anyone. Um, who would I like? I just want the top anyone in the top 10, top five. Anyone in the top five, my weight division, let's get it on, man. It's like you say, you haven't, it's all about experience and, you know, you're still only a young lad. You've got, what, 13, 14 fights behind you now. Obviously, the Josh Kelly was your first, you know, defeat. But, you know, it was a fantastic fight. So, I don't think any boxer would mind sort of taking that. Obviously, no one wants to lose. But, like you say, another two or three fights, you're going to be an absolute nightmare in this division. Listen, I know that. Everyone knows that. And you know what it is with me? In life, I don't take it as a loss. I take it as a lesson. And God don't make mistakes. So I had to go through that. And it's made me a different animal. Even though everyone's like, you didn't you didn't really lose. It's it's a win-win situation for you. Listen, I, I want to win in it. I hate losing on FIFA. So I hate losing at pool against my mate, Lyndon Arthur. Yeah, let's not talk about that. <laughs> but yeah, man. Um, after that, after that, I took out on Linden a bit, you know, at FIFA. <laughs> but, um, yeah, man. I just saw that, because you know what happens with Linden and FIFA? He doesn't like it when he thinks he's lost. He hates it, man. He hates it. But, yeah, um, listen, I'm loving the journey. And, um, like you said, with the, with the experience and uh, and a couple more couple more fights, I'm, I'm taking everyone out. So, listen, we're in uh, Saudi Arabia. Massive event, obviously, Bivol versus Bivol. Biv I could never say it. Peter Biev. Um, and lots of good fights on the undercard as well. Who have you got your eye on apart from the main event? Um, Fabio and um, Frazier. That's that's the one, in it? Like, shout out Frazier, that's my boy. Shout out Fabio as, well, Fabio as well. I don't really know him. 
but um, I work with uh, Boxing Science and he works with Boxing Science, so mutual friends. Um, but listen, I love boxing, man. I love the game and I love seeing people, you know, 50-50 fights going at it because a lot of people are scared in this game to, to take a chance and... Um, Viterbia, Bivel, another chance. Someone's got to, always got to go. Uh, another great fight for boxing history. And um, I've got Viterbia in that fight. I've got a draw. I mean, yeah. It might be. You know what it is? I didn't think about that. You know, it might be a draw. But I just feel like it's either going to go. Viterbia stops him or Bivel wins on points. Do you know what I mean? That's how I had it. But I think Viterbia stops him because I've, I've been over to Canada. Three weeks. I went with Lyndon after he was sparring him. And I've never seen no one train like um, yeah. Terbia. He's, uh, he's an animal, different animal. Yeah, a few of the lads, uh, Cam Simpson, Billy uh, Diniz, have also been over and sparred him and stuff as well. They said the same thing. So it's going to be an intriguing fight, mate, isn't it? And there's some nice there's some nice names on the uh, the card in December. There's a few good fights coming out on there. I, I like the uh, Dennis McCann fight, Peter McGraw. That's a real good fight. That is the fight I'm looking forward to. Because um, Peter McGrail is an outstanding boxer. Like his skill level is yeah. crazy. So, but I like Dennis McCann as well. But he came of age in his last fight as well. He really yeah. boxed well. Yeah, he did. Yeah, but listen, Styles make fights, and they're another two that are that are going out in a fifty-fifty bout. And listen, that's what I love seeing because it it gives you a little feeling of the old school fights. You know, when people was really going at it. And uh, it wasn't about, oh, we're trying to keep up, oh, we're trying to build up. It's like, listen, get in there, do what you got to do. And if you don't get the decision, come go back to the gym and come back again, in it, And you're going to have a great career like that. Like me, I'm, I know I'm going to have a great career because when my phone rings, there's no one that I'm turning down. So, and I'm putting on exciting fights. So it's like, you're always, people are always going to want to see you instead of being like, oh, I want to get built up. I want to fight a freaking... 30 and 15 losses and you know what I mean listen it's good so after your performance in Wembley mate that phone will be ringing hot 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 mate I'm telling you now listen we're, we're here in that in the uh, the hotel the fighters hotel mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know if you saw it but Connor Ben and Chris Eubank Jr just went at it in the in the reception I'll tell you what I mean and they weren't holding back either of them I tell you what do you make of that because it's going to have to happen that fight isn't it Listen, Connor's my boy, man. I love Connor. I love his attitude. <laughs> He's just an angry man. Isn't he? Give him a little push as well. Yeah, he loves it, man. But do you know what it is? There's a side that people don't see to Connor. And that's a side that I see. Like, he's he, he calls me. He wishes me well. He loves my journey. And he's part of the reason why I'm here. Because I went and sparred him. And then he had so much good things to say about me. That's when I kind of got my chance on the Next Gen show. But back to what I was saying. He's a lovely guy and um, he's just a fighting man. So when it comes to fighting, he turns that switch on. But he's a family man, you know what I mean? He goes to church every weekend. He's, he's a lovely person and um, I just want him to do well. It's all about boxing, like you said. And, uh, you know, it'd be nice to see those two go at it as boxers, right? Yeah, that's what, that's, listen, we're fighters, isn't it? And we're men that have to look after our family. So, you know, everyone needs to give him a break and just... Let him let him get in there and give us some good boxing, man, because that's where he is a good boxer. So, listen, I'm looking forward to that fight. That is going to be a cracker. That fight needs to get made. It nearly happened in the foyer. <laughs> I tell you, yeah, but I tell you what, for a lot less money than they'll get when they do do it, mate. I tell you. Now, listen, right? You've been over to Redline. They have got some fancy cars over there. You went out in the Brabus. But was there anything else out there that you quite like the look of? Because I like the, the McLarens, mate. Listen, yeah. I seen a serious car in there. Uh, the the new Ferrari Jeep. Listen, that car. It's only a four-seater, but if you've seen it, they had a matte, matte black one in there. Oh, that, they've got some serious cars over there. It's, if you if you don't, if you want a nice car, get yourself down to Redline. It's in Nairsborough. And um, you'll be spoiled for choice. I think Eddie and Frank get their cars from there as well, don't they? Do they do? Listen, you have to go where where you're gonna get the best and the best service and yeah, man, good guys down there, man. I'll be definitely shopping there soon. 
Yeah, but I think they've banned you from driving anything else after the last one. <laughs> I've heard all about it. Yeah, well, this, I see I'll be shopping there soon, but they got me in my new Beamer. I just got a new Beamer from there. But I mean, like, real shopping, you know, when I get up there and I get, like, a, a Lambo Euro or something like that, you know what I mean? It's going to be good. Listen, we'll have to keep our fingers crossed that that news is Saudi news, and then you'll be able to go shopping, mate, right? Yeah. Listen, it's super great to see you, mate, and... uh We'll uh, keep our ears open for that news. And uh, again, congratulations on the Wembley fight because I thought you did incredibly well. And uh, I'm looking forward to the next two or three, mate. It's going to be good. Yeah, man. Always a pleasure, man. Always a pleasure.